Beebs, Jess here, and happy Pumpkin Spice Day! Well, yesterday. Today I'm covering all of these Starbucks pumpkin spice desserts because I can't drink coffee and there's a lot of pumpkin stuff. I did get the teeniest little drink. This is the pumpkin creme kid size because that's about all I wanted to drink right now. Basically, it's a steamer with pumpkin in it, so I'm going to try it. So they forgot the whipped cream, so it's just very orange in here. <laughs> that is orange. That is very orange. Well, cheers. So when I was a kid, there was this ice cream store, and it was really a dairy store, but I went there for ice cream called Thino's Dairy, which let me know in the comments if you recognize that name, because it has been gone for quite a while. It was a very big, like, Woodenville-ish area thing. And they had this pumpkin ice cream, and it was a very sweet, light pumpkin, and a little bit of spice in the end, and this tastes like liquid pumpkin ice cream from there. And it's a really nice nostalgic feeling. Now to the desserts. So there are technically three desserts in the pumpkin spice series this year. There is the scone, the bread, the muffin, and I got the fox cake pop because it's cute. Let's start with the scone. It's a pumpkin scone with a thick layer of icing and there's a little drizzle on top and it looks very hearty. The second you get this open, you just smell pumpkin spice. So that's, that's quite nice. I feel like I already want this with like a gingerbread tea to really increase that ginger and pumpkin smell. Cheers. It's got a really nice pumpkin with a little bit of ginger and then a hint of cinnamon, and it's nice and fluffy, but it's quite dry. In fact, I found it really hard to even finish my bite because it's so drying. I am filming this on day one, so there could be anything going on. Day one is not when I really like generally reviewing any kind of baked good, even if it's just a limited release, because bakeries need time to figure things out. And yes, even Starbucks. Flavors are really nice though, like I feel like that and a black tea could be fun, or that ginger tea like I mentioned, just to have an increased flavor profile, because it is very strongly pumpkin, then ginger, then cinnamon. But also it's gonna be very filling. Like I can tell already, like if that was not so dry, it would be incredibly filling, like that's, that's a meal. Wow, it is very pumpkin colored in here. Let's see if that fixes things. So next we have the pumpkin cream cheese muffin, which this would have been my jam just looking at all of them because I am a huge fan of cream cheese on my muffins. This was the only way I ate muffins for most of my childhood. Just something about the cream cheese center that just makes me extra happy. It looks like there's oats and pumpkin seeds all around the edge. Would be a nice crunch. I just smell even more pumpkin than before. It's a really, you're getting a lot of pumpkin, getting a nice amount of ginger and cinnamon. It smells very balanced in the best way. Let's try a bit of cream cheese, bit of muffin. Cheers. So the muffin is solid. You've got almost a bit more warming heat. It's almost going to spicy. And the pumpkin seeds are giving it a nice bit of crunch. I wish you could have more crunch at the whole muffin. I think having like pumpkin seeds or nuts or oats in the inside would really help here, just to have some more dimension of flavor. I am not liking the cream cheese. I hate to say the Starbucks, but this particular muffin has some kind of scary cream cheese. Like it's kind of rubbery. I hate saying that on film, but it's true. So that's just that particular muffin. I'm sure there'll be other better muffins, just not that muffin. Next we have the pumpkin bread, which is so soft, it is basically stuck to the plate I was using for B-roll. So that happened. It looks super soft, and it's got the same kind of pumpkin seed and oat topping that I saw on the muffin, so hopeful. It smells the least like pumpkin though of all of them. Like there is barely any scent, which is kind of sad. Like I'd like this one to have the most pumpkin smell. Cheers. So it's super soft. If you're worried about having too dry of a treat from this collection, get the pumpkin bread. But it lacks really any pumpkin flavor. I'm barely tasting any. I'm getting like this barest hint of cinnamon ginger at the end. But really, it's like a whisper. If I had the scones flavor in the bread, I would be happy. As it is, it's like, what's going on? Why does it taste so mild? I want more out of it. It's got potential. Like this one has the right density and be a really good balance, but yeah, it's just, it's not there yet. Last, not least, we have the cake pop. This is the Fox Pop, which has, I believe, a chocolate center. If you haven't had a cake pop before, they are usually crumbled cake bits with icing mixed together and then made into a ball and dunked in some kind of chocolate. It looks to be white chocolate. I'm a little nervous about the white chocolate. And yes, I know this is not a pumpkin spice item, but it's orange and it's cute. And I wanted to at least try it because it's orange and it's cute. Cheers. Well, I was wrong on the filling. It's vanilla and kind of butterscotch noted, but incredibly sweet. Oh my goodness. All I'm getting at the end is this overwhelming sweet note, just sugar with a hint of vanilla. And I think it's from the white chocolate. I am not a fan of this. I'm also not the target audience by a long shot. 
Like I was going in expecting chocolate and I get this. So that was already a bad start for the poor fox. Yeah, I, I really want to add cacao nibs to this so I ate it again. Just because I'm desperate for some balance against the sweetness. It's so sweet. And those are the 2020 Starbucks pumpkin spice desserts. My favorite was the muffin. That cream cheese muffin may not have had my favorite cream cheese, but there was this balance between the pumpkin and the spices that I didn't get anywhere else in the dessert lineup, and it was nicely moist without being drying. It will be a really nice snack, especially with some tea. My least favorite is that cake pop. Oh my goodness, that's for kids. That is so sweet. I know. <laughs> it's, just, it's just too sweet. So I'd love to hear from you now in the comments. Have you tried any of these desserts? Are you planning to get any today? I'd love to hear all about it. If you'd like to have more sweet videos in your week, please hit that subscribe button or leave a like. It really helps the channel. It's always awesome hanging out with you and I will catch you next time. Laters. Honestly, I wanna take this and run it through my ice cream machine and see how it tastes. Cause it's actually, it's pretty spot on.